this, uh, everyone's calling the people gawking at that thing as it goes mm -hmm. by. It's newsworthy. Oh, I know. So I was telling Byron that they got the, in New York today and tomorrow, they got the parade of trains down in Brooklyn. Or oh, yesterday and today. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but I, because of the allergy business, I couldn't travel. Yeah. So anyway, they got this today, right? Yep. And on Tuesday, the CTA is running those six thousands in passenger service oh, on the they? loop. Yeah, because it's their it's their seventy second anniversary. Someday I'll make it out there. Again. You know, one thing I had a brainstorm of. How you remember all of us in the past in the eighties? How in the nineties we go to Philly, all of us in the group. I was saying someday before we all get too old to do it again with something like that, reminisce, and it's like Byron as a younger guy would want to come along and see and hear us reminisce. Ryan, my own son, even said he wanted sure, I'll, to join us. Right. Yeah. But the thing is, I know we wouldn't be staying at George Boyden's. Do you know that in November he's going to be 88 years old? Yeah. Do you, do you still talk to him? He emails for times and all that, and I email him back. Yeah, he's still holding his own. He just has like one or two people from Ireland with him. It's almost sounds like they're taking care of him more yeah, I'm sure. than he's taking care of him. Well, I wonder if he's maybe going to you know, head for warmer climes or something. He had talked about Arizona and the yeah. Phoenix area before, but because I know he said he has a sister out there, but uh, he hasn't really mentioned anything more in regards to that. Yeah. Oh no, I try to make my rounds with people and all that. You know, that George, um, sometimes he sends funny jokes on the email too. I don't think they've been said enough to two down territory here, right? It's but no, he's, um, I mean, he's still holding his own. I'd look at my parents, he's still holding their own, but my father now, I was visiting them yesterday instead of today. <laughs> a guy taking a picture uh, on the sidewalk there, the, the smoky bus, and he's shaking his head like, don't they ever learn? <laughs> oh, I don't think he realizes it's not a revenue service. Bus. No, I know. But my he father, looks like one of those guys that thinks breathing should be outlawed. Oh, yeah. By everybody. By everyone, yeah. <laughs> you know, my father is having issues with his shoulders now. My mother, it's like when going over there, it's like aches and pains. I find myself doing a lot of things for them. Then doing things for my mother-in-law. She's not as mobile either. It's like aging. <laughs> Jamaica Plain Center certainly hasn't changed much in activity level since the trolleys left. No, that's true. But it sure changed in character. You know, yeah. it's like when we're up at the up in the hill there, John Elliott Square. Yeah. And I parked behind that car, and Byron says, "Are you gonna put the windows up?" I said, "Ah, you're in the middle of New Roxbury. You know, that's nobody's gonna bother the car." That part has a, Yeah. That part's better. Other parts. Haven't gotten better, but that one has. Well, but this is the same kind of thing here. Yeah. Nobody'd care about your car now. Like they used to. No, so we're, the we're, only thing they'd care about if they'd said anything at all is the fact that your car is there, period. Right. How oh, come you're not walking or taking a boy through? To make a plane, where I find it's worse is on the east side of Washington Street. There I find is where there's yeah. some where it could use improvement. Like like when you say heading to like Franklin Park. Give it time. Remember Joe Donovan used to tell us about Hyde Park? Yes. And how it was going to hell, right? That's yeah. like 25 years ago. Yeah. It ain't going to hell now. At least not the way it was then. No. Even in the Readville, even in the Readville section? cities and towns are doing something to try to do better.
This is one game I'm all for the Pats to kick ass. Bills are one, that's one of those teams I just repulses me. <laughs> What did they ever do to you? No, just some other. I find they get a lot of Cowboys reject players, and I didn't have a favorable opinion of the Cowboys. And what did they ever do to you? Conceded, they calling themselves America's team. Ever As far back as I can remember them, they were like that. Just the mentality. The, uh, football's my favorite sport, but there are they're, they're like five or six teams I despise in the NFL. Cowboys, Bills, Jets, Broncos, Ravens. Those are the teams I can't stand. Wow, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Look at the diesel. Yeah, and I was wrong, by the way. It's not that it needs a ring job. It's just that's the way those things run. Right. You forget about it, you know, because you're so used to all the clean, clean machines. Well, I remember when they were in full service. Believe it does. Yeah. So I gather they're going into the bus. Educated yeah. kids, likely upper. Now, are you going to go when they go to the Silver Line facilities too? No. Okay. I'm going to go to Mattapan and then I'm going to take Byron home from there. Okay, I'll, then I'll join the trip again there. Okay, that's so good. I'll join the trip again then at Mattapan. So he's going in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, People seem to have forgotten who started the Spice Craze back in 96 with the original Spice and Chicken Sandwich. Whatever this lady doesn't think I'm going. And now the Queen of Spice is back in, taking the original Spicy Chicken Sandwich up a notch with the new Bacon Jalapeno okay. Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Try one well, that's a park in here on the Sunday. Oh, yeah. All right. Same deal. Offer valid to participate in Wendy's for a limited time. Oh, sure, we're going to show her.